Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Joel. Today, I'm going to share about how you can use an Excel range as SAP multiple selection criteria when you are developing your SAP script using VBA. Let us get started. Using our previous example, I will be developing a script to automate the extraction of customer lists from countries in the Excel range. As usual, for the first step, head to SAP and open SAP script recording and playback. I will not be going into the details in this video. If you are interested on how you can get started with developing your own SAP script, be sure to check out my previous video on SAP scripting with Excel VBA. You can check it out with the link at the upper right corner. Start recording your steps and proceed with your usual process. Here is what's different. Instead of putting in your selected values straight into the text box, click on the icon on the right to input multiple values. Once you are in the multiple selection window, hit back to Excel and copy the range with Ctrl C. Then return to SAP and click on the icon Upload from Clipboard. If you do it correctly, you should see all the values in Excel pasted in. Click on the Execute button and execute the query based on your selection. Once the process is done, click on Stop. Open Windows Explorer and head to the folder where your script is recorded. Right click and click on edit. We will need to use this block of code later when we are developing our script. Let us now head to Excel and open the VBA editor. If you are not able to find the developer tab, check out my video in the link above to check how to enable it. I have some pre-written codes here which creates the connection to SAP. Under the sub-procedure that I am developing, I will declare two variables, last row and SHT as a worksheet. Reference the SHT variable to the worksheet where your range is stored. For the last row variable, you can use one of the many ways to identify the last row of the range you wanted to copy in Excel. I will be using the current region method in this case. Then, simply use the copy method to copy the list of countries into the clipboard. Next, return to the script that we have previously recorded. Copy and paste just right after our copy action. If you need to have multiple values for multiple fields, just make sure the copy action happens right before the upload from clipboard step in SAP and you are good to go. Let me place the SAP GUI and VBA editor side by side so that we can see it in action. And this is how we can copy Excel ranges to execute SAP query with multiple selections. Please give me a thumbs up if you find this sharing helpful and I hope it will save you time in your daily work. That's all I have. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you in my next video.